my name is Limari Milot, and uh, everybody calls me Lima. I go by Lima, it's a shorter name. I came from Mexico, and I started doing um, body paint after I got into makeup, because it's, it's like an extreme way to see makeup. You, you just extend to the full body and create fantastic um, characters with makeup. So I started after I took a class for a master um, diploma for everything that has to do with makeup from beauty, hairstyling, and I was just doing it for fun for Halloween because I had a dental lab where I worked. I had, a, I had an office as a dentist in Mexico and we used to do a lot of things there for Halloween and I thought it was a lot of fun and also I used to model before I actually had a career. And uh, I always loved makeup. I just never thought going to L.A. in Hollywood just to get a, a, a class in it and, and become a little bit more um, informated, informated about it. I was going to get so passionate and actually get fully integrated into the industry. So when I graduated that uh, master's, it's not a master's degree. It was like a master course for everything that has to do with creating characters with makeup. So when I first started painting a uh, full body for special effects, that's, that's when I, I found my call. I realized I was, I was very good at body painting and I, and I started getting a lot of work and I stayed, I stayed in Hollywood working on it and I've been teaching, so it's, it's all good. It all started there in Hollywood. Well, I think Bringing a, a character that is that that doesn't exist that you can't that you can't touch that you that you um, bring from an, another dimension and you with your hands bring it to life through art. I think that's that's what inspires me. That's what inspired me in the beginning to to start the full face theatrical makeup um, applications as my forte and then eventually moving on to the full body with airbrush and brush and sponge. Okay, I think what I like the most is um, turning any design, because I could get inspired by a very dark design, but a very, very gore design, but I, I still always drive it towards beauty. I always want to see, you know, that fashion in it, that, that glamour, and I think I, I prefer more doing uh, beauty driven characters and swirls and more organic kind of looking uh, designs but they can still sometimes be visceral and um, and dark but they're pretty <laughs> they're all pretty <laughs> I paint on kids too um, I do a lot of theme parties where the little girls want to be princess or butterflies and things like that I just always extend to the full face and I try my best to have the time to integrate eyelashes and um, gemstones and things like that. I don't really do um, partial face paint anymore because I'm so passionate about, you know, the full body that I always try to extend to the full face. But I do, I do parties for kids. For beginners, well, the way I did it is I got very um, focused in working on my portfolio since the beginning. I, I thought if this is a visual industry, I have to have good quality of visuals so they interpret my work as, as a good quality, you know, makeup. So sometimes you can do a very good makeup, a very good face paint, amazing. But if you have the wrong lighting and if you have the wrong shot, you can't sell it the same way. So it's kind of a... You, you always have to work in team with, with your photographers. So what I advise is always be very open with your model and your photographer and work in a team so you can always create a masterpiece at the end together with them and have the best portfolio ever because that's what's going to grab the attention of your audience, of your clients, and believe in you and believe in your art and especially the quality because it's the, it's the art that's going to speak for, the, for itself through the image. So that's what I advise. I advise work on your portfolio. That's, that's the main um, thing you have to have as, as a professional.
Another thing that I enjoy a lot is teaching because what I, what I do makes me very happy. But there's a point where that happiness is not enough and you have to kind of share it. You have to give it away so, so it's there and it comes back to you. So teaching is something that I enjoy a lot because you never stop learning and you, and you can uh, take advantage of, of everything you're absorbing and, and the way you're growing as an artist. It, it triples when you're teaching because these this, this students that follow you um, keep giving you a feedback, keep giving you um, ideas and asking you questions that bring you to a, to a state where you, where you see things that you regularly wouldn't. So it's, it's, a very, it's a very good thing when you're, when you're open to that and you keep learning. So I enjoy a lot teaching because of that, because I, I feel like I keep learning with them and I, and I, and I keep moving. I don't want to be stuck in a place where I say, okay, this is all I've learned, I'm the best. I, I can't go any farther because it's, it's like dying. You just don't, don't, don't go um, forward with your life, with your art as what it is. And, you have to keep pushing it and, and making it flow. So the people that you teach or that teach you are the ones that have that for you, that feedback, that, that cycle. I, I call it a cycle. Yes, I do, have, I do have something that I would like to learn and it's related to body art because I think I'm, I, I'm already going through all the um, the methods to modify the body temporarily like but I mean in a, in a time a range of one day to two three days but that is that that just washes off eventually but there's the permanent body paint which is the tattooing and I feel lately I've, I feel like I've been it's been grabbing my attention because I think with the makeup I can do something amazing but with that it's just such a challenge you know you just will always have it there it, it has to speak about what you feel and what you would like to have with you for the rest of your life so I think it's something very interesting it's it, it has a lot to do with the cultures too and um, ideologies and and uh, it's very primitive too but yet it's body art it's just so permanent so that's something I would like to explore. I would like to learn how to, how to design these kind of things and, and how to apply them on the body. It's, it's also about the skin, it's an organ. I'm, I'm very into the health and, um, and the body as biology, biologically speaking. So I think I would like to get into that later, if, if I dare. <laughs>